Greetings and salutations. How y'all doing? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is just a quick update video. I wanted to talk about a little issue that I had mentioned in some of my past videos that I have found a solution to. And that is uh, the audio problems I was having on this Dell machine. Now, what I figured out was this. The machine does not work well with the Ubuntu 4.4 .4 kernel series, which is the one that is the long-term support kernel in Ubuntu 16.04. Hence, anything that's based on Ubuntu will most likely use that same kernel. The machine seems to work just fine on 4.8, and it works really well on 3.13.0-0. 107, which is the current revision of the Ubuntu 1404 long-term support kernel. So I went ahead and rolled back to Linux Mint 17.3 and now we are running that kernel and all of those weird little audio and video issues I was dealing with just went poof. The 4.4 series in Ubuntu it, it doesn't work very well. I've had problems with it on a couple of my machines and so that is why on a couple of my machines I've rolled back to this old 313 kernel. Now for those of you who are not hip to such things, using the 313 kernel does not mean that this system is vulnerable or that the kernel is out of date. Ubuntu maintains a couple of series of kernels for the current distributions that are out there and in Linux Mint, if you happen to be running 17.3, you will notice that the list here starts with the 313 series and it goes all the way up to 4.4. I can just jump down to the end here. I guess I can show you that. And so the latest 4.4 kernel is uh, the Dash 5.9, which is the latest revision on that one. And then the latest revision on the 313 is 107. So if you want to keep your Mint installation up to date, you will have to choose either one of these kernels and go ahead and install it to make sure that you're up to date. Linux Mint 17.3 shipped with kernel 319 something or other. And of course that is no longer supported. That is way out of date. So in order to change that, you're going to have to install the 313 kernel and then you boot the machine holding down the shift button and that will get you to the grub menu and you go to advanced options and then you boot it off of the 313-107 kernel if that's the one you're going to install and then you can open up this kernel manager here and uninstall the 319 kernel and the next time you boot it will just revert to the older kernel. If you're going to install 4.4 then you don't got to worry about that. You can just install the 4.4 the kernel and the machine will automatically pick up on it. And which kernel is going to work best for you is going to depend a great deal on your hardware. So if you load the 4.4 kernel here and you find that you have a problem, you may want to consider loading the 3.13 latest kernel and then uninstalling all of the other later kernels on the system. I know it's a big pain. It's kind of confusing the way they do that. And since Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, you have to kind of keep your ears and eyes open to what's going on with the Ubuntu kernels. And all of those interim kernels that they used on 14.04, the 4.2 series, they're, they're no longer supported at all. So that's your choice. And with 16.04 right now, you're pretty much stuck with 4.4, although I do hear from some folks who are upgrading to 4.8 for as long as that's supported. That's not long-term support, so when the next version of Ubuntu comes along, you'll have to change that. Yeah, it's a big confusing mess. I understand that, but hey, we got to do what we got to do. The other thing I wanted to tell you about was the fact that we are really getting ready to do this video, this new Mr. Desktop and Mr. Server with Jeremy O'Connell. Working on that this week. We've talked several times about what's going to be in the show. And I think you guys are really going to like it, especially if you do a lot of stuff with multiple Linux machines. We're going to talk about networking 
and we're going to introduce you to some tools that you can use to talk to your Linux machines on your network and we'll go through a, a big thing about that and plus we've got a big surprise for the entire Linux community I mentioned that in the last video I posted but hey there you go if you are so inclined you can check out Facebook on Facebook I did a kind of a I guess you'd call it a review of KDE Neon <laughs> I wasn't necessarily pleased with it I tested that out for a couple of days and at first I was really impressed and then after well just the second day all kinds of weirdness started happening happening the the desktop kind of deconfigured itself and I couldn't fix the problem uh, so if you've been following anything on the Easy Linux Facebook page you probably will no doubt have read my posts and so there you go you can get the scoop on what's going on with that also check out freedompenguin.com for lots of great stories about Linux and do check out Easy Linux on the web the links will be in this video and if you are having issues with Ubuntu or Linux Mint either 17.3 or 18 or Ubuntu 14.04 or Ubuntu 16.04 double check your kernel that might be your problem that's all I'm gonna say on that subject the 4.4 kernel series has been problematic from day one and I presently have two computers that don't work well with it so you might want to check that out that's it we will talk again soon probably the next time you hear from me here on YouTube it's going to be about the uh, networking in Linux with Jeremy O'Connell so until then see ya